Okay, so I want to add these names to our graph. Can I add a, a sticky note that has both boys and girls on this graph up here? Mm -hmm. Can I add it to a bar graph? No. I can't. There is no way for me to add a sticky note to show that Lily's family has both boys and girls in her family. Yes, it's got three children, but I can't add it to this type of graph. So with that being said, I need to use a different type of graph to show this next set of data that we, that we used or that we made. Okay, I have to use a different graph to show this next set of data that I just asked you to create. So this type of graph is called a Venn diagram. A Venn diagram is used to compare and contrast items. So if my family just had boys in the family, which side of my Venn diagram the left or the right, would I put my sticky note? Logan? No. On the left, because this is the side that has only boys. If I have only girls in my family, which side of my Venn diagram would I put my sticky note? Lily, the left or the right? Okay. The right. If my family has both boys and girls for the children in their family, where would I put my sticky note? Sophia? In the middle, raise your hand if you, the children in your family are only boys. Raise your hand if the children in your family are only boys. Girls. And then the rest of you, I am assuming that you have a mixture of both boys and girls in your family. Now, that's the majority of our class. Can I fit all of those sticky notes in the middle? No, so what I do is I stack these sticky notes and then I write the number underneath so that we know. So if you have both boys and girls in your family, please put your sticky note up in the air. So we can see that we have four students in our class who have a family that has only girls for the children. We have three students in our family who have only boys as the children in their family. And then we have, and I'll count for you, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine people in our family or in our class who have both boys and girls or the children in our family. So like I do with any graph that we create together in our classroom, I will add these graphs to our math meeting board so that we can use them if there happens to be a question or a problem of the day that pertains to our graph that we created. Please take out your Tuesday packet that is under your chair. Please turn to your guided practice paper, lesson 48A.